lining the roots of Nicola's last known movements. Exactly a week on from when the mum of two disappeared, close friends and even those who don't know her came out in force in search of answers. Including Nicola's partner, Paul. Speaking publicly for the first time, he said he's been living in perpetual hell. I just can't believe that, that we're a week on. And as yet, it, it, it seems like we're no further on. It's just, just seems, it just seems absolutely impossible. Every single scenario comes to a brick wall, every single one of them. And then all we're doing is sitting there going round and round and round, going through every scenario and then go back to the, f the first scenario again. His girls know their mummy is missing and are waiting for her to come home. My whole focus is my two girls, just staying as strong as I can for them. I'm scared that if I put any focus into anything else, it's going to take my, you know, focus off that. It is as though she has vanished into thin air, like, yeah, just it, in, just insane. And as the days go on, police say their concerns for Nicola's whereabouts increase. Extensive searches haven't yet unearthed any evidence. An unprecedented number of search resources have been searching the river and the bank. This includes drone, the helicopter, police divers, sonar equipment, pole cameras, underwater drone. This has included the area where Nicola went missing and the 15 kilometres or so down to the sea. Unfortunately, we have not still found Nicola, but our search does continue. Investigators believe there is no one else involved in her disappearance or any signs of criminal activity. So what happened to this missing dog walker? Police have narrowed down a 10-minute window in which Nicola was unaccounted for. It was in that short space of time she disappeared. They believe she did not leave this area. And now their investigation is based on the theory she fell in to a very deep and cold river. For Nicola's friends who've been searching day in and day out, it's been a brutal week. Police said that their main theory is that they believe Nikki may have fallen into that river. How did that make you feel? As I said, I, I, I gasped. I, yeah, it was... If, if, if you let your mind go there, then I, I don't know how you come back from it. This quaint village in rural Lancashire has been hit with a tragic story. Amidst all the mystery of this case, one thing remains clear, hope is not in short supply and Nicola's heartbroken family still believe she'll be home soon. In Zaman Rashid, Sky News, Lancashire.